Prime Minister Matej Modvietsky has presented a draft amendment to the Supreme Court law to the leaders of all parliamentary clubs and circles and, as he said, he hopes for a speedy legislative process. I appeal to representatives of the opposition parties as well to pass as soon as possible the compromise reached with the European Commission in the form of a law. Yesterday, EU commissioners approved the assumptions of the amendments to the law on the Supreme Court. In their view, they meet the so-called milestones of, for the judiciary. EU Affairs Minister Shimon Shinkovsky Velsonk stresses that in negotiations with Brussels, Warsaw is setting limits that the Commission cannot cross. These boundaries are set by the Polish Constitution and the treaties we concluded when we entered the European Union and later amended them together, agreeing to the Lisbon Treaty. These borders constitute Polish sovereignty and are impassable. The opposition has tentatively declared its support for the bill, but does not accept the fast tracking of the bill. The law is, to put it mildly, imperfect, and we this we all know. If at least some sense has returned to the heads of those in power, then it is worth supporting this law on these obvious points. We are anxious to get them through the procedure as quickly as possible so that we can proceed to the next stage, which is the filing of the KPO application. Turns everything upside down. It brings the judges back to work. Well, at this point, what were the last seven years of reform for? Zbigniew Zobra's Solidarna Polska disagrees with some of the provisions in the draft. They are anarchizing the judicial system, which is something we can't support from Solidarna Polska. Only after the bill passes through committee will opposition deputies decide whether they will support the bill. We are waiting for specifics, for facts. More than once, Peace said it was all settled. But for over 20 months, we do not have funds from the National Reconstruction Plan. Both President Andrzej Duda and the Prime Minister are aiming to end this dispute to improve the judiciary and unblock its funds. The bill calls for the Supreme Administrative Court to be the institution that decides disciplinary cases for judges. The Supreme Administrative Court will thus take over the powers of the Supreme Court's Chamber of Professional Responsibility. The Second Amendment clarifies the application of the so-called judge independence test as demanded by the European Commission. We have to wait until this law enters into force and until Brussels finally says yes to our request for payment and this money comes to Poland. The Polish opposition has no choice but to support this bill, says journalist Jacek Prozinowski. It cannot in principle speak against these solutions if they are negotiated by the Polish government and the European Commission. If they are accepted by the European Commission, it would look strange, inconsistent, if the opposition now wanted to block these very solutions. As Law and Justice spokesman Rafał Bocenek announced today, the first reading of the amendment to the Supreme Court law will take place tomorrow, and the second and third readings of the bill are expected next Tuesday.